I want to tell you a story. It's a story about blood and mud. It's a story about a tank and her inexperienced and inept crew. It's a story about Betty. Welcome to Foxhole. In Foxhole, infantry is the most important thing. The people who will willingly throw themselves into the meat grinder with nothing more than a bayonet and a rifle to protect them. But spearheading every counter-attack and at the centre of every defence is the armoured core. At this point, neither me nor Carp have ever actually driven an armoured vehicle before, nor have we crewed one. We're currently discussing where to send our one tank, the King Spire Mark I, when the call comes in from Westgate. The Colonials are moments away from breaking through our lines, and it's sure to be a complete rout. They need reinforcements, and they need them now. Carp and I don't waste any more time. We head straight there as fast as we dare. We don't even bother grabbing a flatbed truck. We just drive the tank as quickly as we dare across the dirt roads and pray that we can get there in time to actually do something. It took us 40 minutes to drive to Westgate. By the time we get there, the situation that was once dire is now disastrous. On the bright side, we have actually come up with a name for our tank. Betty. Little did we know she would earn, earn the nickname, Rolling Betty. We roll into the town and I quickly realise a couple of things. The first thing is that the enemy is dug in. And by dug in, I do mean they are entrenched within fortresses. Now usually for a tank this wouldn't be a problem, but we are a scout tank. We're equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun, and that's all we've got. We can't deal with pillboxes, we have no ability to take on any armour whatsoever, as long as it's more than an armoured car, and our armour itself is weak. We are surrounded by vehicles which are significantly better than our own, and all we've got to defend ourselves with is a little pew-pew gun. In short, I realise immediately that it's not looking good. However... As we pull into the town, we notice a friendly tank. And this is the exchange. Hey, hey tank, you wanna come with us? Tank, tank, you wanna come with us? Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. Where are we going? Hey, you guys, the tank, join the squad chat special ops or tank division right now. Now a part of a proper armour division with an organised command structure, our field commander makes the call. We're going to try and push to ranchers to hopefully punch through the enemy lines and deal with the logistics behind them. The only problem is, is that they're dug in deeply. It's a double fortress, one in front, one behind, an elastic defence, a layered defence, one that will be difficult to dislodge. So, a bunch of machine guns. Come on, guys, good job. We lost our first tank then. The prototype, the medium tank, the one that sat right next to us. If the anti tank gun had just switched targets even just a moment earlier, we would certainly have joined them in death. We regroup and prepare to launch another attack at nightfall. Here we go. Alright. Pull back. I would pull back there. Our attack on the fortress broken before it even begun. We attempt to flank around it by going by the lake. Currently, it's going quite well. We've reached Killian uh, Kill Quarter, as far as we've ever gotten. AT pillbox right here on the coast. No, I didn't even see that. I, I'm. It's in the middle of our base, locked. Perfect. Alright, uh, we're almost to the road. Oh, taking fire. Where? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm sorry. I think I hit him. I might have hit him. I saw chunks. That's why. That is. What was that? Leaving. 
Enemy AT, we're leaving. That's it. Yeah. Oh shit, they're on us. They're on us. How are the tanks doing, the partisan doing? That sucks. Disaster. Our night attack went even worse than the front attack. Surrounded by enemy infantry from every side, crawling from bushes and trees, we'd lose another tank to the enemy. Yeah. We charged the enemy position, sick and tired of losing tanks to random guys in forest bushes, hoping to kill enough to make it worth it. We're good to go, we're good to go. Okay. I need heals. Oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. You good? Ah! There's a lot of them on the right side. There's machine guns. Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. No idea what any of those things are. Oh, there we go, found them. There are these guys, I guess. Alright, hey. We're just gonna get some fuel real quick. Excuse me. We'll switch okay. out. I think. Oh, well, I don't know. They're pushing on the base. They're pushing on the base? From the south? Yeah, from the uh, southeast. Southeast side from here. Got it. To the southeast. Traverse, uh, south, traverse, south right. Where we are right now, there. Traverse, right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Take us in. I don't think he has any anti-tank stuff. Yep. And their trenches over there. Professor, Jesus, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Oh, I got one. Oh, you got him, dude. Alright, push up. Screw it. It's king country. Let's go. Oh. Reloading. Flee. Okay, flee. Flee. Flee for your lives. Flee. Run. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Alright, we're leaking gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Can gas hurt you when you're in the tank? Uh, yep. do you have 170? Yeah, where I have 170, it's just, it's, uh, it's the lower angle. Of range. It, I'm in range, it's just that it's a low angle, but I do have... Hey, hit, uh, hit 201. 201, moving. 195. 195. Where? What range? Uh, 32. 30, 40 now. 45. We don't have- oh, now we're back in range. Yep, I'll, I'll hit that trench. 180. Get to that medic, get to the medic, get to the medic. Fall back, fall back. Get to the medic. Uh, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Jesus, I got the medic, I got the medic, run. Our armor broke and we had no choice but to return to a garage to perform some emergency repairs. We left behind a special ops division, defending the last supply outpost that actually had anything in it. The attrition was bad, about 50% of the tanks were gone now, and most of the infantry lay strewn across the fields. Still, we were in high hopes, because we never imagined that we would be able to get this far, not in a reconnaissance tank, not with just a machine gun. And yet, we still stood defiant against the colonial onslaught, and they broke against us like water on rock. As we transported our tank back to the battlefield, 
the Colonials were preparing for a heavy assault. The entirety of the armored corps of the Special Ops Division lay strewn across the countryside in broken wrecks. We heard one last order from our field commander before we heard no more. At all costs, push forward. Okay. Uh, just, uh, shooting friend. Uh, do you want to start? Waves upon waves of colonial infantrymen crashed against our armor. Betty was the last tank in the sector, the last armored anything, and still somehow she was doing the job of the entire tank battalion. And the line held. I'm gonna get out and repair. If ever you're a warden infantryman, and the world around you seems to be filled with artillery shells and colonial scum, just know that those who prove worthy, Betty will return. <laughs>